Good morning, it's Dr. James. I am absolutely delighted to see you today. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy and thank you for being compassionate towards me today because I am heavily meditated, but I'm also someone who's a meditator in process and hopefully making progress. I want to share with you something I believe is going to actually rock your world, hopefully in the most beautiful and compassionate way. Because one of the things I love about our time together, this is one of the greatest reasons why I believe we are together, because we work on ourselves. And not to say that we're not innately perfect, I believe all of us are innately perfect, but some of the stuff that happens on the path of life as we progress, as we grow, as we open up ourselves to experiences of bringing the higher versions of ourselves into expression becomes an interesting dynamic. And one of the ways that I think this shows up is in the area of meditation. Now, before you say, you know what, I don't meditate, or I've already got the meditation down. I'm like kumbaya on steroids <laughs> after I meditate. You know, I, I want to say something to all of us here in the Earth School, the ones who are sitting in the front seat, the front row, looking at the chalkboard and saying, gosh, you know what? What is it all about as we look towards ourselves, wanting to grow, to evolve, to be showing up for this wonderful experience called life? And doing it in a way that brings us more peace and more self-acceptance, more self-compassion. And this is the way I want you to know that we are together. Here's the question. Do you find yourself when you're meditating ever going through this? You're kind of, you're in the middle of your meditation, you're going, I wonder if I'm doing this okay. Or, oh, I'm really crushing it today. I am an awesome meditator. You know, you're <laughs> you have this awesome dialogue while you're meditating, and it reminds me of a time that I think this is going to be so helpful as we both embrace, whether it's meditation, whether it's, whether it's exercise, whether it's uh, eating well, whether it's all the stuff we do here in the spiritual classroom called life. When I was first getting into meditation, I was in my early 20s, over 30, gosh, nearly 35 years ago. And I was in this beautiful spiritual community. I was working on becoming a good meditator. And I remember about three or four sessions into my meditation class, I was crushing it. My ego was like, oh my God, you're such an awesome meditator. You know, Oop, om, kumbaya. I mean, and I was just in it. And I was having such great peace. It was beautiful. I remember even getting a little tear in my eyes. I was like, oh my gosh. This is what it can be like. And after I was done with my meditation, um, the meditation teacher um, was there taking questions. And, and I said to him, and so so egotistical, I said, oh my gosh, I think I got it. I am, I am, that was awesome. I am, I am, I, I've got the meditation thing, woohoo. And I was just like waiting for him to go, wow, good for you. And he said to me, oh yeah, I think it's too early to tell. Do you think you may be actually a little ahead of yourself? And I was like, wow, what do you mean? I was just totally rocking the peace. I was rocking the kumbaya. I was feeling like a spiritual warrior. I was like, uh, I was the twin of Dalai Lama. <laughs> I say that with all respect. So what he was saying to me went on to say, this is something I've been learning over the last 30 years. It really isn't about the practice of meditation. That, to me, is what I'm learning. That's like the foreplay of the great romance called the rest of your day, the rest of your life. Those 5, 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes that we meditate in, or the 5 or 10 minutes we dedicate to eating well, the now we dedicate towards exercise, whatever that self-care practice is that we do each and every day, it's just the precursor. It's not it. And I really believe this is something I'm learning as I'm going through this experience of trying to evolve and continually being compassionate and kind to myself. And what I want to express to you today, enjoy your meditation. But understand, it's not about being perfectly peaceful and, and unbelievably awesome and loving while you're meditating. That's just the precursor. That's the foreplay. That's the opportunity to see whether or not after you get off the cushion, this is my little meditation area over here. This is my little meditation cushion. And it's not about sitting there. That's easy. I mean, sitting over there, that's the easy stuff. It's when I get up from there, how do I carry the energy? How do I bring the love? How do I slow down time? How do I, how do I stop from being impulsive? How do I stop from being compulsive? How do I rest in the space that the meditation trains my brain to be so I could see with love, so I could see with compassion, so I could be the way I want to show up in the world the rest of the day. Eating clean, 
meditating, exercising, those are all the training opportunities and how we actually bring those opportunities into the rest of our day, the other 10, 12, 14, 16 hours, that is what it's really all about. So I say, sit on your cushion and enjoy the practice of becoming quiet. Sit in the space when you open the refrigerator door and choose something that's gonna allow you to serve and go out there and express the highest version of you. When you are doing any of your self-care, self-love practices, understand it's not about the kale, it's not about the perfect meditation, and it's not about sweating after an awesome high-intensity interval training. It's what it allows you to do afterwards. How do you show up and serve up the highest version of you? That's what creating a life that we love is all about. So here's to being heavily meditated. Here's to showing up. Here's to doing so with a heart and soul of compassion and self-acceptance and letting ourselves be students of the great life, the foreplay of going out there and making love fully shown in us and as us. <sighs> Thank you. I love you. Peace and blessings. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.